Health and safety seems to be getting in the way of whatever we want to do nowadays. Now for you people watching that don't actually know what health and safety is, this is what it is. Business has safety things so that employees don't get hurt and they don't sue the company for thousands of pounds. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying health and safety is bad at all, but it's getting to the point where it's becoming pretty ridiculous. Stop! Right there, I haven't actually written a risk assessment to allow you to drink from that bottle yet, sir. This is my water bottle, I drink it every day. Well, sorry sir, due to the new health and safety regulations of 2013, everything you must do must have a written risk assessment so you don't hurt yourself and don't go and sue someone because that would be really, really bad and I'll get really, really badly in trouble and I'll have no money left. All oh, this hard work is making me hungry, I feel like a nando. Stop! Oh, what now? So I'm actually still in the process of writing a risk assessment to actually see if you can actually stay on the carpet because it would be really, really dangerous, sir. It's a bit fluff. Nope. Another bit of fluff on the floor. Okay, well, maybe that was a slight exaggeration, but have you heard of the story in the news recently? A police officer is suing a petrol station because when she was running to go to a suspected break-in, she tripped over the curb. I mean, how could you possibly think of suing a petrol station? You are a police officer. You should accept there's going to be rough and tumbles. You're going to fight some criminals. You're going to... No, you can't use a gun because you don't do that in this country. But you're going to get in scraps and you're going to get bruised bruises and everything like that, and tripping over a curb. I mean, what, are we meant to have signs everywhere? Watch out, there's a curb. You're just going to be looking out your window one day, and everyone's just going to be purposely falling over, suing everyone. Everyone's going to be suing each other. Right, here we go. Ow! Oh, ow! Ow! Ouch! Oh, one, two, three, jump! Ah! Oh, ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, my leg. Ah, oh, that went wrong. Ow! Ow! Now, there is one thing that I'm really worried about, and that's if I get a break in. Um, I've just got home from shopping, and I'm hearing some really, really strange noises from upstairs, and also, my carrot cake has gone missing. Hello, sir, I'm Officer Seymour Bush. We had a report of a break in. Please come in, he's upstairs. Right, actually, no, um, just before you do, I'm just gonna have to go through some health and safety with so you. So I really appreciate your help, but I'm gonna have to come in and stop. Uh, right, okay, just want you to be aware that the door trim here is pretty high, and sometimes you can trip your shoes on it, and you know, that would cause you to fall over and cause an injury. There is a mat just as you come into the door, so be careful when stepping on it. Sometimes there could be a bit of dirt, or there might even be a pin under the mat. You never know what could happen. Now, we do have a dog, but don't be alarmed. The dog's only about that high and it doesn't actually have any Sir. teeth. It doesn't have any teeth because they all fell out and that's why its tongue sticks out. It may get a little bit naughty sometimes and it might want to bite you, but if it does, just shrug it off your legs. As you come in, there is a little bit of carpet. Also, again, with the mat, it can be slippery. It might be wet. There might be a pin under it and you could sustain an injury. As you go up the stairs, that's where obviously you need to go because the robber's up there. There are 13 steps. As you go up, just count one, two, three, until you get up to 13 so you don't overjudge, miss a step and you might go through the wall or something even more dangerous. Okay, sir, yes, I understand. I understand, I understand. If you could please follow this rule, don't run. We don't run in the house because, you know, that always leads to accidents and we don't want an accident. If you're going to shoot someone, don't do that diving thing that they do in the movies. It's quite unnecessary and you could fall, hurt your arm and I don't want to be sued. Right, oh, okay, that looks perfect. Okay, come right, in. brilliant. Now the point I'm trying to make with this video is that I just think health and safety is just getting a little bit too much. Everyone's scared of someone suing them. But I want to know from you guys what you think about this subject. Is it just me or do you think health and safety is getting a little bit crazy as well? Write your comments below. Also give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more videos when I upload them. I also now have a Facebook fan page where you can go and like it and you'll be updated whenever I post a new video or post whatever I want to do. I mean, I don't know why you'd do that. But yeah, you can do that if you want to. See you later. I also now have a Facebook pan. I also now have a Facebook pa pan page. Yeah! So his name is Ollie White and he's the best in the land Cause every single video he makes is always gonna be grand Click on his page if you wanna see more He's got more subs than a JL audio store You came in, he's not from down under